On a foggy morning, the silence of St. Christopher was so thick, it seemed to carry the secrets of centuries within it. The streets, still damp from the night's dew, unraveled like silver ribbons among the old houses. In the center of the village, under the imposing shadow of the stone church, a small group of residents gathered, a silent congregation marked by mourning. Among them, a cat with fur as black as the night, with amber eyes reflecting an unknown world. His name was Judas, and he was as much a part of the village as any of its human inhabitants. Mary, a soul whose light had been prematurely extinguished, now lay in a simple coffin placed in front of the church. Father Lorenzo, a figure that seemed carved from the very stones of the place, led the funeral service. His words, though comforting, struggled to penetrate the veil of sadness enveloping the hearts of those present. Judas, always a faithful companion to Mary, appeared restless. Instead of his usual reserved behavior, the cat began emitting a low, guttural sound, a growl that seemed to challenge the calm of the morning. His gaze was fixed on the coffin, as if he could see through the wood, reaching something beyond human perception. Look at Judas, whispered an elderly woman, her black veil fluttering in the wind. He misses her more than any of us. Father Lorenzo attempted to calm the animal, but Judas only intensified his growling, his attention never wavering from the coffin. The cat's unease began to spread, uncertain murmurs among the residents forming an invisible current of anxiety. It was then that Ricardo, a stranger who had arrived in St. Christopher without pretensions, sensed the growing tension. His gaze met Judas's, and a non-verbal understanding seemed to pass between them. Ricardo, whose life had been marked by unresolved mysteries, felt an irresistible urge to unravel what lay behind Judas's agitation. What does this cat know? Ricardo wondered to himself, a question that would be the first step on a journey that would reveal the deepest secrets of St. Christopher, intertwining Mary's past, Father Lorenzo's role, and Judas's true nature in a plot that would transform the village forever. As the day progressed, Mary's funeral ceremony came to an end, but Judas's behavior had sparked an unsettling curiosity in Ricardo. Driven by a need to understand, Ricardo decided to follow the mysterious cat, who seemed to carry with him the keys to St. Christopher's hidden secrets. Judas, with a skill only cats possess, led Ricardo through the narrow streets of the village, pausing occasionally to ensure the outsider still followed. Their final destination was Mary's old house, now deserted and shrouded in an aura of mystery. The door ajar invited them in. Inside the house, time seemed to have stood still. Photos of Mary in happier times adorned the walls, and a fine layer of dust covered the furniture, as if the house awaited its owner's return. Judas, with a soft meow, led Ricardo to a closed drawer in Mary's room. With some effort, Ricardo managed to open it, revealing an old diary and several letters sealed with a ribbon. The words written by Mary on the diary's yellowed pages told a story of love and pain, revealing a secret romance between her and Father Lorenzo, a passion they both struggled to hide, knowing the consequences they would face if the relationship came to light. The letters exchanged between the lovers spoke of shared dreams and promises of a future they could never have. As Ricardo immersed himself in reading, Judas curled up at his feet, the cats purring, offering silent comfort. It was evident that Judas was not just a bystander in Mary's life. He was a guardian of her most intimate secrets, a living link between her past and the present. Armed with the truth about Mary's forbidden love and Father Lorenzo's role, Ricardo knew he had a decision to make. Revealing the secret could shake the foundations of St. Christopher, challenging the town's norms and beliefs. But keeping silent meant perpetuating the shadows that obscured Mary's true story of love, sacrifice, and courage. Determined to honor Mary's memory and bring peace to her spirit, 
Ricardo made his decision. With Judas by his side, he prepared to confront Father Lorenzo, armed not only with the diary's revelations and letters, but also with an unwavering resolve to unravel the shadows of the past and illuminate the hearts of those Mary left behind. As evening fell, when shadows began to lengthen and St. Christopher's sky was tinged with orange and purple hues, Ricardo, with Judas close behind, walked towards the church. The town's silence seemed to carry a palpable anticipation, as if the winds themselves awaited the unfolding of the next events. Father Lorenzo was alone, organizing the church pews, when Ricardo entered. The sound of footsteps echoed in the sacred space, drawing the father's attention, whose gaze, as it settled on Ricardo and the cat beside him, carried a mixture of surprise and apprehension. Father Lorenzo, Ricardo began, his voice firm but respectful. I have discovered something that I believe is of utmost importance, something about Mary and about you as well. Father Lorenzo paled slightly but maintained composure. What you believe you know, my son, may not be the complete truth, he responded, his voice trembling. Then, Ricardo revealed Mary's diary and the letters exchanged between her and the father. As he spoke, Mary's words, filled with love and desperation, seemed to hover in the church, becoming almost tangible. Judas, for his part, sat quietly beside Ricardo, the cat's eyes fixed on the father as if understanding the gravity of the moment. Mary loved you, father, and I know you loved her too. Your love was true, but it was hidden by fear and the expectations of the town, Ricardo continued, looking directly into the father's eyes. Father Lorenzo bowed his head, hands trembling. After a long silence, he began to speak, his words laden with a weight he seemed to have carried silently for years. He spoke of the love he felt for Mary, of how they struggled against their feelings, but ultimately could not deny them. He spoke of fear of scandal and the painful decision to keep their love secret. The town would not have understood, he said, his voice faltering, and I could not abandon my sacred duties, but my love for Mary never diminished, not even now. Ricardo listened in silence, feeling the complexity of the father's feelings and the sacrifice he expressed. Judas, sensing the shift in atmosphere, approached Father Lorenzo, offering a type of silent comfort only an animal can provide. What shall we do now, Father? Ricardo asked after a moment. Mary deserves her story to be told and her memory honored. Father Lorenzo looked at Ricardo and then at Judas, finding in the cat's eyes a determination that mirrored his own. Let us reveal the truth, he finally said. It is time for St. Christopher to know Mary's story, our love, and the sacrifice we made. Perhaps then, we can find peace. Thus, united by a shared mission, Ricardo, Father Lorenzo, and Judas prepared to bring to light the truth about Mary, facing together the consequences that would come. It was the beginning of a new journey for the town, one that promised change, healing, and perhaps a new understanding of love and forgiveness. The next day, a meeting was called in St. Christopher's Central Square. The news that Father Lorenzo and the outsider Ricardo would make an important announcement spread quickly, arousing curiosity and murmurs among the residents. Judas, with his silent presence, accompanied Ricardo as they walked together into the collective attention. Father Lorenzo initiated the meeting with a prayer, seeking strength and wisdom for the words to come. With the square filled with attentive faces, he began to narrate the true story of his love for Mary, revealing the details of a romance that blossomed in the shadows, away from the town's critical eyes. Ricardo, by his side, held Mary's diary, a tangible testimony of the love and pain shared by the couple. As the story unfolded, the inhabitants of St. Christopher listened in silence, many struggling to reconcile the image of the devoted father with the passionate man emerging from Lorenzo's words. Judas, observing the crowd, seemed like a beacon of tranquility, his presence offering a kind of silent approval to the confession unfolding. 
Mary and I loved each other deeply, confessed Father Lorenzo, but we knew our love could never be fully lived, given the circumstances. We chose then to live that love in our hearts, sacrificing our happiness for my vocation and for the town's well-being. Father Lorenzo's confession was met with a mixture of surprise, sadness, and for some, understanding. The forbidden love story between him and Mary, though shocking, also shed light on the complex nature of the human heart and the sacrifices made in the name of love and duty. After revealing his relationship with Mary, Father Lorenzo paused, looking at the faces before him. I ask for forgiveness, he continued, not for loving Mary, but for keeping that love a secret. In an attempt to protect ourselves and the town, perhaps we have caused more pain. It was Ricardo who spoke next, sharing his discoveries about Judas's role in Mary's life and the significance of that love in the town's history. Judas is not just a cat, he said, stroking the animal's fur. He is a guardian of St. Christopher's untold stories, a reminder that love in all its forms deserves to be recognized and honored. The meeting ended with a sense of collective catharsis. The residents, though still processing the revelations, began to see Father Lorenzo, Mary, and even Judas in a new light. The Father and Mary's forbidden love was no longer a dark secret, but a known truth, a story of true love that, despite its complications, enriched the town's emotional fabric. In the weeks that followed, St. Christopher transformed. Mary and Father Lorenzo's story became part of the town's broader narrative, a reminder of the complexity of human love and the capacity for redemption and understanding. Judas, now more than ever, was seen as a living symbol of Mary's memory, a guardian of her secrets and her love story that had finally found its place in the sun. And so, through the courage to confront the past and reveal hidden truths, St. Christopher learned to embrace the imperfection and beauty of love in all its forms, finding in the process a path to healing and unity. After the revelation of long-hidden secrets in the shadows of St. Christopher, a new sentiment began to spread among the residents. The forbidden love story between Mary and Father Lorenzo now revealed served as a mirror reflecting the community's own insecurities, secrets, and unspoken desires. Judas, the cat who once wandered lonely streets, became a symbol of hope and renewal, a constant reminder of the strength found in truth and love. In the days that followed, St. Christopher's Church saw an increase in the number of faithful, not only to attend Mass, but also to seek comfort and understanding alongside Father Lorenzo. The Father, for his part, felt a lightness he had not known in a long time, freed from the weight of his secret. With Judas often by his side, he now spoke with a newfound conviction, teaching about the importance of compassion, forgiveness, and acceptance. Ricardo, the outsider who played a crucial role in bringing Mary and the Father's truth to light, decided to stay in St. Christopher for some time longer. His presence, initially met with suspicion, was now greeted with gratitude. He and Judas became beloved figures in the town, walking together through the streets, living symbols of a community, learning to reconcile with its past. One day, at the end of a golden afternoon, the town gathered again in the central square, but this time for a celebration in Mary's honor. Colorful flowers adorned every corner, and photographs of Mary, capturing her essence and joy for life, were displayed for all to see. Father Lorenzo, with Judas at his feet, spoke of Mary not as an absent figure, but as an eternal presence in St. Christopher, whose spirit of love and freedom finally found peace. The celebration culminated in the inauguration of a small community garden next to the church dedicated to Mary's memory. A place of beauty and reflection where Judas liked to bask in the sun and where residents could sit, 
talk, and remember that even in the greatest adversities, there is always room for healing and growth. St. Christopher awakened to a new dawn, a more united and stronger community, enriched by the stories of its inhabitants. Mary and Father Lorenzo's love, Judas and Ricardo's courage, became part of the town's fabric, stories to be told and retold, reminding everyone of the beauty found in truth, forgiveness and hope.